Hey there, and welcome to day two of the Artwork Living seven day Instagram engagement challenge, where we're working on helping you to use Instagram to grow an audience and increase sales. So let's dive right in. So here on day two, we're going to work on batching captions. Remember, quick recap of yesterday, we worked on batching our images. So you collected together at least five images that you're going to use when we start posting tomorrow. So you've already got your images, and now we're going to write the captions. That's the post, the words and text that go along with those images. And one of the things that I want you to remember is that those captions don't have to just be about that image. You can use the image to grab the attention of people moving through the feed, and you can write about all sorts of things associated with your artwork. So the image, while it is what Instagram uses to captivate the scrolling audience, does not have to be literally connected to the caption that you write. Now, as we start off working on growing your audience on Instagram, it is fine for those captions to be simple and to just be a description of the painting. But we're gonna talk about some other ways that you can actually make those captions even more engaging. Those are gonna be your extra credit bonus points. So right now I wanna remind you that we're gonna write all of your captions at one time because it'll save you time for working on batching and it will make for better flow. What we're gonna be using to do that is your notes app on your computer or your phone. Now, whether you're on a Mac or you're on a Windows platform, there is a notes app on the Mac and the equivalent of that on Windows they will sync automatically with your smartphone. This is the beauty of using the Notes app. So I know a number of you mentioned yesterday that you hate typing on your phone. I do too, I second that. I make all sorts of horrible mistakes when I type on my phone. But you don't have to type on your phone to create your captions. You can use the Notes app on your computer and you can easily type those captions. And then you can copy and paste them onto your phone when you get ready to post. We're gonna practice that tomorrow. So we're gonna use the Notes app so that you can write on your computer easily and edit and then sync. So let's switch over here to my notes so that you can see what the Notes app looks like and how I use that. So here is my Notes app on my Mac. And here is the caption that I just posted today on Instagram. And you can see where I've written the whole thing out. You'll also notice that I have periods in the space in between each paragraph. There's a trick to getting white space, that spacing between paragraphs on Instagram. I don't know why they don't let you just easily add it, but they don't. So to create the white space, you need to insert a character there. And there can't be any extra space after that. You see how at the end of the paragraph, there's no extra white space. And the next line has just the period in it, no extra white space. That's what preserves the spacing on Instagram. Really easy to do in your notes app, not easy to do when you're typing straight in the Instagram app. So I write all of my captions out in notes. And I frequently will write batches of captions at one time. So the easiest way to do that is to create five new notes. And I like to batch them this way. Let me stop that share so that you can see the whole screen here. 
and there we go. Then you'll be able to see all of them. So I'm going to have five notes open if I'm going to write five captions. Let's see if I can make another one here. It's not letting me for some reason because I'm trying to do an example. There we go. And can another window open? And so on until I get five open. So you can see here where I have a row of these little windows open. So I can see all of my captions that I'm working on at one time. That makes it so much easier so that you can see the flow of it. That's what you want to do if you're kind of trying to link or connect the stories together. It's a pro tip. You absolutely don't have to do it that way if it makes it too confusing for you. Just keep open one at a time. So type in your caption and you want to create five of them. And when you look back here at the, um, if you look back at the workbook for today, you'll find spaces to write those captions. So if you want to write them by hand, absolutely do that. But then I'm going to want you to go and type them into your notes app so that you can easily use that. But you can do a rough draft in the space that we provided for you in the workbook. So that's the notes app. What I want you to think about for right now is keeping these captions really short. Your captions can be long, they can be short. There's no magic formula for that on Instagram. And in fact, people read long form captions on Instagram, almost the length of blog posts, way more than they do on Facebook. So if you wanna go long form, you absolutely can. But I don't want you spending hours and hours writing captions for the challenge. So for right now, to get it done, and remember that done is better than perfect, keep them short. Write a one sentence description of what that image is of. Write the title, the medium, the size, and include your name, copyright information. So that's all you have to put on there, one sentence for each of those images. Go ahead and write those in that space that's provided for you. Now, I know I got a question about hashtags. We're not gonna worry about hashtags right now. Hashtags will be coming tomorrow. So I want you to leave them off for right now unless you're already comfortable with hashtags. You may be asking, what are hashtags? Hashtags are those things that you see on Instagram that start with the number sign and then a phrase or a word after it with no space. Those are search terms. That's why the tag word is in there. And they help people to find you on Instagram or anywhere else on the, the web based on keywords that you've chosen to use. So we're gonna talk about how to find good hashtags and how to use hashtags tomorrow. I don't want you diving deep into that right now or using that as a distraction to keep you from getting those captions done. Hashtags tomorrow. Now, if you wanna give yourself some extra credit on your captions and take them to the next level, then think about answering the following questions, one for each day. And again, keep it short and sweet. Who are you? You know, when you first join Instagram, it's like joining a party. You need to introduce yourself. We're gonna try that in stories later this week if you haven't done it yet. So you're gonna introduce yourself. Who are you? The next day you can explain what it is that you do. Really short, really brief. Third day you can describe where you do it. 
give an inside view of your studio. The fifth, fourth day, you can describe why you do it. What is it that floats your boat about the way you make art? Then the fifth day, the final day, describe how you do it. Are there any special techniques or materials or processes that you use to make art? Now remember, this is for extra credit. This is if you already feel comfortable creating those captions. But I want you to remember that you can keep it very short, very simple, and very sweet right now for getting started. I don't want you to spend more than about 30 minutes on this. So only do those extra credit ones if you are feeling inspired to take it to the next level. Go ahead also and comment below and let us know how you're doing on the challenge. So download that workbook for today and dive right on in. Happy painting, everybody.